You know, one of the problems um, in American culture, which doesn't sound like a problem on the surface, is the whole mantra of pulling yourself up by the bootstraps and hard work and, and Americans work harder and, you know, we have glorified working our fingers to the bone. We have glorified damn near killing ourselves to accomplish something. And it sounds really romantic, but it's also dumb. And this carries over into music. This is something that we really need as educators to start um, discussing more with students. And that is balance. That is learning how to practice properly so you aren't just banging your head against the wall in the practice room um, and causing yourself long-term problems. I mean, it's something that I've had to fight my way out of because if I got to a hard passage of music or something where I was struggling, my first instinct is that my hands go into what I call Hulk smash mode, and I've got to get through this passage, and I'm going to learn it, damn it. And, you know, that's a good way to get yourself injured. Now, my injury and my surgery aren't due to that, um, but I have other problems that I've had to work through that are. And how many musicians do you know with carpal tunnel syndrome? How many vocalists do you know who have strained their voice repeatedly or develop, you know, vocal notes or something similar? How many people do you know who have focal estonias because they have practiced so much that they've actually caused problems through here? So, music educators, when you're talking about hard work, talk about hard work with a purpose. And not just wearing yourself out in the practice room just to wear yourself out in the practice room because that, that, that accomplishes nothing. So one of the things I think that we really need to focus on as a field is learning and teaching smarter, more efficient practice techniques and learning and teaching balance so that our students stay healthy and can play or sing for the rest of their lives. Thanks for listening.